What's up, family? Hope that you guys are having a great Thursday um, afternoon. I wanted to come on here. Um, and today's video is going to be a little different. Um, today's video is not an easy one. Um, I have been contemplating on this for a little while and I feel that it has to be done unfortunately it's not something that I want to do but I feel like it's something that has to be done and the reason why is because I have endorsed this particular person um, for a while now here on YouTube um, and I really hate honestly that I have to do this but I feel like at this point I don't have a choice not because I am listening to any cult leader um, or that I'm a cult follower I'm in this cult and now I'm being told what to do I'm doing this because this person that I loved so dearly and have grown very close to for um, the amount of time that I've been here on YouTube which is honestly is almost a year I've been on YouTube for seven months now and I've been you know friends with this person for that long and it hurts to see that you know we started out on this journey together like on the same page and then just seeing her trail off and going the opposite direction of what the true gospel is it hurts my heart and this person that I'm talking about is Christina from the channel Saved by Grace um, I you know it's just not it's not easy doing this um and i said you know I, i'm gonna pray for her i'm gonna pray for her um that god reveals the truth to her because i know he's working in her life and um you know there's no reason to you know expose this person or call this person out on their teaching because I'm just going to pray for her. The veil is going to be lifted, lifted off of her eyes. She's going to see it like I've seen it. And that has not happened. And I can't just let, I just, I can't keep letting time go by and not say anything because it seems to be getting worse and worse. Um, and she has now called. Now, Christina, I texted you the other day and asked you who was a part of this cult. And... You named off um, a good amount of people, Lily, um, David, Tim, Greg, all of them. And <clears throat> you didn't name me or Chrissy, but I know that you're talking about or grouping us in there as well because we believe the same exact thing that all of those other brothers and sisters do that you named off, which is the true gospel of grace. It's, it's the true gospel of the Bible. It's the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's the good news. And... Um, you know, there's a point um, in time where I was starting to kind of trail off under this Lordship Salvation teaching that there must be like more. You have to do something like in your flesh. You, you have to do this. Like it can't be just believing. You have to do something on your own part. And I wasn't understanding things. And, you know, I was like, am I surrendering everything? And she was kind of thinking the same thing. And we were in a group chat with um brother greg uh um tim flora david uh and chad from watchman on the wall 88 and um you know i was putting videos out and she was as well and it was they were questioning it because it wasn't lining up with the true gospel and um, you know, the veil had already been pulled off their eyes and I didn't realize it at the time that I was still under this kind of this, like delusion or I was being deceived and so was Christina and they were trying to tell us the truth and I wasn't able to see it because it's just like I've told you guys, it's something that the Holy Spirit has to reveal to you. It's not something that I can just tell you and you have to humble yourself before Christ and ask him to reveal the truth to you and that's why I took a few days off as well as Chrissy and God removed the scales off of our eyes removed the veil and I fully understood the simplicity of the gospel and that it is everything that Christ did on the cross it's all about him and 
they were trying to tell us and I was taking it personal and so was Christina and you know there was a little uh, time there where we didn't talk to our brothers and sisters anymore because I was taking it personal and all along they weren't it was nothing personal it was just they were calling us out on our teaching that it was false and we were saying some things that were questionable and we were leading people astray and not realizing it and um and I realize that now and that's why I had to take time off and really um, just go to God and I did I remember I was just I just talked to him I said I need you to you know tell me if I'm wrong like show me where I'm wrong I don't want to be wrong um, I want you to reveal truth to me I don't want to lead 30,000 people astray and subscribers still flow in and I don't want to say anything that's gonna lead them on the beaten path and that's when I just woke up one day and it was clear as day. I mean, he didn't wait at all. And I get overwhelmed with emotion because he's so good. Like, God is good. And he did it for Chrissy too. And all it took was humbling ourselves before Christ. And he showed us the truth. And it's not something you can even explain in a sense because it's only something that Holy Spirit was able to reveal. And um, anybody who is not, you know, humble themselves before the Lord and like if, if you have not been revealed truth then you can't see it and um, and so I you know I was taking it personal and I realized it was not personal anymore and you know what my brothers and sisters did after I came back to them and like fully had been shown truth they welcomed me with open arms like they you know it was nothing personal and they will still tell you that and you know I now so you know, I, I think you guys can tell from my videos that I have fully come to understand the truth. And I think a lot of people who were subscribed to me are subscribed to Christina. And they are seeing her kind of teach something different or kind of trail off. And, you know, I that's why I contemplated because I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want it to come off as drama. But there are people that are confused now. They are literally reaching out to me and they're confused because they see me saying one thing and now they're seeing Christina say a totally different message. And now you got Rhonda sharing her videos and you got Allison agreeing with her and you got Shelly, you know, on her side. <laughs> And so I had to address it because there is confusion. And so um, I do not endorse what Christina is teaching. And it really hurts me to have to do this because, but I just feel like I'm left with no choice. Like, <clears throat> Christina. David is not a cult leader. I know there's a lot of people that think Christina was talking about Tim Henderson being the cult leader. That's it, it's kind of irrelevant, but she was talking about David. And um, you know, if you really actually like listen, because sometimes it's kind of hard to follow along what David teaches. But if you really like, he has a type of videos where you have to sit down, and take your own time, and like really listen to what he's saying because. It's really in depth, but when you really listen to what he says, like it makes so much sense and it's truth. And, um, you know, Christina, David is not a cult leader. He's simply following the gospel of Jesus Christ. He is literally teaching what is out of the Bible. And for you to call the gospel of grace a cult is it makes me sick and it makes me sad too because I've been friends with you for so long and to see you trail off and not humble yourself and ask the Lord for truth I I've, I've told Christina many times stop leaning on these pastors stop listening to what pastors say you know you've told me that you've listened to all these different pastors and they're all saying the same thing it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what man says it doesn't matter what pastors say you're listening to what they say you're not humbling yourself before Christ and asking him to reveal truth to you because if the Holy Spirit would have revealed truth to you you wouldn't be saying the things that you're saying it's not surrendering fully to God like once you believe it's not it's not being obedient obedience comes from God comes from the Holy Spirit God is powerful enough after we believe to change our lives, to change the things in us. 
There are things that we all do that are disobedient. Um, marrying for a second time, like things like that. Like we're all disobedient. Overeating, and I, like honestly, I even overeat. I got some weight to shed, which I'm starting on Monday. But, you know, and I thought, oh, it's so harsh when, you know, they're calling, they're, they're, they're saying things about, um, or referencing the weight and gl uh, gluttony. Um, but it's, it was never a personal attack and I see it now. Literally, like, if you think about it, overeating, which I do all the time, is gluttony. That's disobedience. We all need Christ. All of us. And it's all about focusing on what Christ did. Now, should we walk in the Spirit? Absolutely. But it's all Christ. And if we try to do anything on our flesh, if we try to do anything that pleases the Lord in our flesh, it's like filthy rags. The Lord has already preordained the work inside of us. It is all about believing. And once we believe, once we truly believe, that is when the whole, truly believe in Christ and what he did on the cross and putting our full trust and faith in him is all about him. That's when the Holy Spirit comes in and dwells within and makes us a new creature. It's not a, um, and for all the people saying, oh, well, it's a license to sin. It's not a license to sin. You already have the license. We sin every day, whether you believe it or not. So it's not a license to sin and we're all going to mess up. Now, I, it, it's like, I see these people that finally feel like, oh, they have it all together and they're teaching now and they may not be out partying and drinking and they may be reading their Bible. And so they feel like they're being obedient, but <coughs> in all reality, there's still things that you do that are disobedient. If you, what, what is the verse that says um, anything outside of faith is a sin? Well, we sin every day. It's not a license to sin. We don't want to do the things that we do sometimes. What's the Bible verse? I do things that I don't want to do and I don't do the things that I should do. <laughs> it's not about what we do. It's about believing and putting our full trust and faith and resting in his grace resting there and letting him do the work for us and it's not anything that I it's I try to explain it as best as I can but for the people who are blind and deaf and are not humbling themselves before Christ you're not gonna see it until you truly go to Christ and I feel like that is what Christina has done and she's taken the things that David has said to her personally as attacks and not humbling herself before Christ because she doesn't she doesn't want to believe what David um, says because she's taken the things that David has says has has said personally and doesn't like him for whatever reason and now well, what he says and what he teaches and what all y'all are following him well that's that's a cult well I'm sorry to tell you I'm not sorry to tell you I'm happy to tell you that it is a truth. It's all about what Christ did. And he teaches everything that comes out of the Bible. It's, it's, there's no, it's not greasy grace. It's not easy believism. It's not hyper grace. It's not whatever you want to label it. It's the good news. It's either he, he paid for all of it or he didn't. I mean, how much do you have? Are you, are you sure that you're being like a hundred percent obedient? I can promise you that you're not. So I, I hate, I hate to have to do this video. It really does pain me, like honestly. But the true message, the true gospel of grace, Jesus Christ, what he did on that cross, his sufficient blood that he shed is enough. And to call it a cult, to call true born again believers cult leaders or cult members is a slap in the face. It's blasphemy. And... This person has had plenty of time to humble themselves before the Lord and ask for truth and they can't see it. So I can tell you this, Christina, I will be here waiting with open arms and so will everyone else. If you truly come and humble yourself before the Lord and he reveals truth to you, 
but as long as you continue to slander the gospel of grace, the real, the true gospel, I can't endorse you anymore and I can't, um, I, I can't encourage what you're teaching because it's false. Um, and again, I'm sorry that I have to do this, but um, I know there are people out there that are confused. And um, so I had to set the record straight. This is not to cause drama. This is not to, you know, anything like that. But Christ is separating the wheats from the tares because it's almost harvest time. And nobody said that this was going to be easy. I thought it was all rainbows and butterflies when I first got on YouTube. And it's not. It's very hard. You know, I could be doing anything else, but I'm doing this because it's what I'm called to do. To do. Um, so, it's, it's, it's between life or death. You know, the saint, the bondage that you are teaching almost had Chrissy take her life. And she was set free by the true gospel. And she's able to rest in Christ now. And it's the same stuff that, that you're teaching is, is bonding people up in chains and and really hurting their lives so I really really ask you one more time humble yourself before Christ and ask him to reveal the truth to you and if you don't that's up to you you know it's it's not my life it's your life and but I just had to get on here and set the record straight I do not endorse um, Christina Saved by Grace channel anymore um, because what is she, what she is teaching is, is false. So anyways, I'm going to hop off of here, um, go eat my lunch. Talk to you guys later.